God bless you. We're going to start in the book of Numbers. I'm going to read from chapter 6. We're going to start at verse 24. So if you'd like to read along with me. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. So, as you may be aware, in the beginning and the end of each of my videos, I always say, God bless you. Why do we say such a thing? Well, what does it say here? We see as the children of Israel, and as you know in the book of John, all are grafted into the vine abide in Christ to bear fruit so we are grafted in God bless everyone that has love for the Lord and puts their trust and their faith in him lives faithfully and devotedly to God trusting in Jesus and the Holy Spirit to work through us to guide us to do that which is good when we see one another, it's not just, ah, oh, God bless you, as it's just a random greeting. It actually has meaning. When we say this, because may God bless you. May he shine his face upon you, guide you, strengthen you, and help you. And of course, in this verse, give you peace. For a peace that you can only receive from Jesus. He says, not a peace as the earth can give, as I can give in the book of John. So, blessed be when we praise the Lord, we come together in praise and in trust, in the learning of God, for all will be taught by God. For God will guide everyone as the Holy Spirit resides in us, to reveal to each and every one of us the words of God in this book. Bible is true nourishment, it will guide you and strengthen you and teach you. Love one another as you love yourself. And you know you want good for yourself and your loved ones. Have this desire in your heart for one another near and far. As when we pray for each other, that we all learn and study and persevere, and that God help us through our struggles. We pray for our brothers in bondage, in suffering and in struggle, that they can overcome, endure, put their faith in God, that he deliver them in his mercy and his love, to help us in ailments and illnesses, to overcome, to grow stronger in faith and trust for the glory of God, for all is attainable through God. Put your faith in the Lord as with the fig tree that withered. If you have faith and do not doubt, trust in God, believe in God. When you pray, give thanks and rejoice for all you receive. Bless one another that God will bless you. That he will guide you, help you, and strengthen you. Don't let the world get in the way of your faith. Don't let the world test your faith. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Trust in God and he will deliver you. Put your faith in him. Be an obedient son and daughter to the Lord. I hope this specific verse can help guide you, strengthen you, and bring you peace and joy in God. God bless everyone here.